Let me ask you, instead of that, about the prospect of him potentially winning in 2024. You've got to say, looking at the Republican polls for nominee and then looking at the matchup polls between Trump and Biden, if indeed Biden is the Democrat nominee, and I know that you share my view, I think that he, sh he should stand aside. But if it is Biden-Trump, Trump has a very good chance of winning, doesn't he? At this point, if it goes all the way uh, to a rerun of 2020 and it's Donald Trump and Joe Biden on the ballot, then I think uh, Donald Trump has a better than 50 percent uh, chance of winning, especially if uh, it seems clear the U.S. economy is going to slow down in the coming year, if not going to recession. Uh, Trump is polling strongly uh, in the swing states that are really going to be decisive, as they always are, uh, in the close elections that we have these days. But... American politics is an unpredictable game, partly because the stakes are so high. And I don't rule out an upset on, on one or possibly both sides. Don't rule out uh, Nikki Haley as a contender for the Republican nomination. There are plenty of Republicans in those key early states, Iowa and New Hampshire, who have some doubts about whether they really want Donald Trump all over again, whether they're ready for another four years of fire and fury. And then on the Democratic side, there's really widespread concern uh, that Joe Biden is over the hill and should not be the candidate. They just can't work out quite how to get him to step aside the way, say, Lyndon Johnson did in 68, when it was clear that he was going to struggle to win, not because of age, but because of, of Vietnam. So I'm not, I'm not ready to say this is a two-horse race and, and Trump is going to get re-elected. I think it's, it's much too early to make that kind of confident judgment. There are surprises ahead. Uh, but at the moment, the base case is that it's Trump-Biden. And if it is Trump-Biden, then I think Trump has to be the favourite. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, Professor, I've got to leave it there, but thank you, because when I discovered I had COVID today and felt, to be honest, pretty rough, I knew I couldn't do much of my normal over-animated talking and I realised you were my main guest. I breathed a sigh of relief knowing that I could just basically tee you up and let you talk and the viewers would be a lot more interested in what you had to say than anything my croaky voice could come out with. So I appreciate it very much cool. indeed. Thank you. Get well soon, Piers. <laughs> I'll try.